four times in its history, the city of London has gone up in flames. Roman London was burned twice. Then, 300 years ago, the Great Fire of London broke out here in Pudding Lane. In just over three days, the fire destroyed 13,000 homes, leaving 100,000 people homeless. Luckily, only six or eight people lost their lives, but the damage ran into millions of pounds. Firefighting equipment was as primitive as this. During World War II, the heart of London City was reduced to ashes again in the Blitz. Today, a new and grander city has achieved a new prestige throughout the world. Towering office blocks act as a frame for the historic buildings and create a new skyline. A skyline which symbolizes the way in which Britain has interwoven tradition with the needs of the jet age. For the fourth time in its history, the city's square mile is being almost totally rebuilt. It's planned to rebuild all but 70 of its 677 acres by 1980. At the time of the Great Fire, nearly a quarter of a million people were living in the city. Today, though half a million people work there, the resident population has dropped below 5,000. But the new plan will bring people back to live in the city again. Within the next 10 years, it is hoped to treble its population and also provide social and cultural centers. But could all this again be destroyed by fire? 